Hi guys, Todd here. Yes, another review. Um, righty. Uh, tonight, well, I'm recording this at night. Um, we have something that, well, we'll get back to that. We have the L Rider Transformer Variable Voltage Telescopic Device. Uh, right, I got this from Charlie's Vape Shop. Uh, I just bought a, a box mod, uh, a Minos box mod from Charlie, and uh, he asked me if I would like to do a review on one of these. And I said, yeah, fire it on, I'll have a go. Um, and in all honesty, I wasn't entirely sure what it was at first, because uh, he just said it was a transformer. Uh, and I thought, cool, Optimus Prime. Uh, no, I didn't. I thought, great. Um, and then it arrived, and it basically, it, it comes in this box. And it comes with an instruction manual as well, which basically has everything on it that you need to know. Um, well, everything I need to know. <laughs> uh, so that'll keep you right. And uh, because I had the, the box mod that I got from uh, Charlie, I had uh, I put a tank on it. Uh, I put my G-Bell on it. And I was basically I was vaping between the box mod and I was vaping, using this as well. I didn't really pay much attention to it because it suddenly occurred to me that I remember when this was first advertised uh, on the internet and the photos were released uh, and they were saying that it was like the the, the bastard child of a, a GG a TS and uh, a lava tube and uh, I don't think I was very complimentary towards it after seeing the photos. That's me being honest. And so I continued vaping away with this, and uh, I've now gone a day and a half and been vaping away with it. And I have to say, there's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> and so when, I, when I took it out of the box, I thought, right, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to vape with this, and I'm going to rip it to bits. Um, there are several issues with it that I'll point out as we go on, but I think there's a good balance between positives and negatives in this device. Uh, right, before we get into the up close look and let you have a little go at it, it's a, I, bought it, I got it supplied free of charge for this review from charlie's vapeshop.co.uk. Now you can get a kit or you can just get the body only. Now the body only costs $49.99 and the full kit costs $59.99. Uh, the kit contains an 18650 battery, uh, two CE4 atomizers, a trust fire multi-charger, a manual and a zipper case. That's not bad for an extra tenner. A battery, two CO4, CE4 atomizers, a charger and a zipper case for a tenner. Yeah, not bad. Um, right. Um, that's all I can really tell you from the website. So, um, what we'll do is I'll just um, I'll I'll grab something just now, uh, and I'm just gonna got to use my ego adapter here on uh, an EVOD. I'll just pop that on. And I'll just check that ohms, which is 1.6. So I'll drop my voltage down a wee bit to Great vape, uh, great vape indeed. Uh, right, um, 
let's get you in and let you have a closer look at this, show you the menu system, and uh, then we'll come back and I'll let you know exactly what I thought of it. There we go. Now this is it in 18.350 mode. And the key thing about this, and before I forget, this is chrome plated brass. Uh, but the thing about this mod is it's a telescopic. So you can put 18650, 18500 and 18350 batteries in here. And I've been using it mostly with 18350s just because that's my preferred configuration. Uh, but I've also used it with 18650 and had no problems at all. Now there's your bottom cap here with a vent hole and your spring. And we'll grab a battery. Actually, I've got to find the battery first. It just wouldn't be one of my reviews if I didn't have a flat battery or couldn't find the battery. Uh, right, here we go. We've got an EFEST V2 18350 battery. I'll pop that in. And when you pop your battery in, you should hopefully see that the display lights up. Oops. No issues with the threads at all. Threads are fine. Uh, and that's you. You now have power going to the device. And whenever you change the battery, it automatically resets to 3 volts. Now, there's an elephant in the room. And that elephant is this button. Now, <laughs> the button... Uh, is actually a very very good button it's got a great clicky feel to it and i have to say is an absolute pleasure to vape with if you're used to a gg a roller a 69 or anything like that and you know using the button uh, the way you hold the mod uh, this is just it's actually the standout feature for me. Uh, I think it looks uh, an afterthought. Uh, you know, if it had been up the top or down the bottom, maybe, but, but where it is, it, it strikes me as an afterthought. But no matter what I think of the aesthetics, you know, functional, function-wise, it's great to vape with. It really is a nice button to vape with. Um, downside, uh, well, you see the threaded bit below the button? Well, you can unscrew that, and that stops it firing. But if you get carried away, you will end up unscrewing the whole thing. Uh, and there's not a lot of difference between locking the device and removing the button altogether. Um, And I will get it back in there. There you go. Great. Uh, I would personally would suggest that you do not bother with this locking ring here. Uh, just keep your finger on the red button here. We'll lock the device as well. That's what I would use. Uh, or what I have been using, I should say. Uh, skipping the menu system just now, we'll go up to the top, and one of the other features that this has got is an air control ring here. So you've got your air there, air holes there, and you can spin this and you can control your air flow to the chamber. I don't have really have anything that would require me to use the, this, uh, so I cannot comment on the function and whether it works well or not. Um, moving on up, we then have the top cap, and you have your usual, you know, the new. Well, I had a robust, an L Rider robust, and it was the same kind of spring. 
um, just to show you, I can actually unscrew this and show you the spring. And it is spring loaded, which I think is great. So if I look at the top cap, you can see here that there is threading in the inside of it, like a standard 510 connector, but there is no threading in the outside of the section here. So you're kind of, if you want to use anything like a Kanger T3, then I'm afraid you're going to have to use an Ego adapter. Uh, what you will also notice here on the top cap is that there is one hell of a height difference there. Uh, you're not going to have to... <laughs> why they, they put the airflow uh, section on it, I don't know, because you're never going to get anything tight onto this, uh, which I think kind of funny. Um, and it is one of my bugbears, because it does mean that unless you're using a Stardust or something similar, uh, then, well, we'll come back to that. Okay, uh, the menu system is, is it's not an overly complicated one, it's pretty straightforward to use. If you hold your finger down in the red button, it'll turn the device on and off as well. Um, it's nice and clear, it's not... It's quite a small window, I have to say. Uh, and I can just make it out. But, um, no, it's not bad. Uh, The thing is, and I'm, I'm not hiding this fact, inside the Greek, uh, Polish, Romanian uh, mod buyer in me, you know, buy all these devices, uh, is screaming, what a pile of shit, uh, throw it in the bin, don't look at it, it's crap. Uh, but the common sense side of it is saying there's nothing wrong with it. It's a good, good vaping device. Uh, it works exactly as it should. I'm having, it's just a pick up and vape. And the fact that it's telescopic as well, uh, and it's variable voltage, um, it works. <laughs> That's exactly what it needs to do. Uh, so these are all positive, I mean that's a, a positive, I mean I really do like it from that point of view. It's been sitting down at the side of the chair with me and I've just been vaping away quite the thing. Uh, but here's where the, the snob in me comes out. I have mostly rebuildable atomizers. That's what it looks like with a rebuildable atomizer on it. You've got the cone shape here, uh, the slant, then you've got that lip, and then you've got the mod, the atty sitting on top. It's a hell of a height. Uh, it's a hell of a height. And it, it just doesn't look right at all. Not that there's anything wrong with the vape. brilliant. Got to love the G-Bell by the way. I've not used it in I don't know how long and it's just a great thing. I mean that's a 1.2 ohm uh, rebuildable atomizer. No problem. Hell the Prevari can't even do that. Um, sorry if you got Prevari. Or can the new Prevari do? Anyway, uh, so that's uh, a rebuild of my size. I'm not happy with the way that it, it looks. Uh, but if you're, and I can't believe I dug this thing out, uh, if you've got something like a Stardust or a, a Clearo, now that's a different ball game. And if any of you mention the fact that this is pink, I'll not be happy. Uh, do you know, it then doesn't <laughs> actually, 
I'm actually, I'm not going to say it. Uh, actually, it, it's okay, you know, with uh, a clear on it. Uh, I'm not That's where the airflow comes in. Ha ha! Right, tighten it right up. Nothing. Slacken it off a bit. It's about my kind of draw. Open it right up. So, the airflow does work. The airflow adjuster does work and it works well. Uh, it spins quite easy, right? Though it's not, it could maybe do with being a wee bit stiffer. Uh, but so the airflow it does, it does work. Uh, you know, I can adjust my airflow on this clearer, which is quite smart. Uh, and suddenly, this device seems to make a lot more sense. And I don't think it looks that great with the tank in it. Uh, but, you know, hey, there's people out there using Privaris with 22mm rebuildable atomizers on them and they're okay with it, so what do I know? Um, right, I would like to thank Charlie at Charlie's Vape Shop for sending this out to me and giving me the opportunity to try it. And he was right. He did say that uh, it was a very good device and it was good to vape with. And... I'll agree with them. It is uh, a really good device to vape with. Uh, I don't think there's any shame to it at all. You may get the piss taken out of you about that button just sticking out there like that, but uh, let's be honest, I've got about five other mods in that cupboard there, and they've all got buttons sticking out the side like that. Go figure. Uh, right, guys. Uh, thanks very much for listening. I'm sorry for the extreme ramble fest. Uh, I've been probably repeating myself because the camera keeps cutting out and I have to keep re-recording bits here. Um, if you do like the look of this and you do fancy a telescopic variable voltage device, uh, then head along to charliesvapeshop.co.uk, uh, uh, give him an email, he's a hell of a nice guy and very good to deal with. Um, and I'm saying that as a customer, not as getting something for free. Um, and that's it. I thank you all very much for putting up with me once again, and uh, we shall hopefully speak to you soon. Uh, catch you later, guys. Bye now.